Hello, Leo, my fellow Leos. I am a Leo. Welcome to my channel, Bl Bringer of Light Intuitive. I'm Cindy, and I'm so glad you're here, Leo. Let is, let's take a look at the energy you are bringing into the new year, Leo. I set the intention for this video to be for you whenever you see it. Today is the 28th of December, but I'm having a lot of trouble with the internet, so I don't know when it's going to upload. So when you find it, or it finds you, it's for you. So take what resonates for you, leave anything that doesn't, and let's just get started. Let's look at the energy surrounding my Leo. Going into the new year, Spirit, what is the message for my Leos? <clears throat> the message for my Leos, their energy surrounding them going into the new year. I feel like this one wants to come out, Leo. Ooh, I love this card. Walking away from things that don't serve you, leaving 2022 on this side of the gate and walking into your bright light on the other side of the gate in the new year. Let's get some more cards. What is the energy surrounding my Leos going into the new year? Thank you for the energy surrounding my Leos, spirit. Ah, yes, action. These are great cards to take into the new year with you. And on the bottom of the deck, we have third chakra. That's your solar plexus. I think is I always get the sacral and the solar plexus mixed up. This is Archangel Shamuel. And you know what? He is the archangel that finds things for you. So if there's anything that you are missing, you can ask him for help, including a soulmate if you're looking for love. So just FYI, Leo, let's begin. Okay, so the third chakra. Oh my gosh, we have the sixth chakra here too with Archangel Metatron, following your intuition, a woman holding a heart. If you are looking for love, you may have that coming in the temple path that's all about finding your and following your purpose you're on the right path leo wow you've got a lot of angel activity here guiding you leading you down this road that may be towards uh love with that woman holding a heart so like i was saying you are walking out of 2022 Leo, maybe you're like me and you are happy to leave 2022 behind and walk through that gate to the new year. <laughs> Always what I notice on this card is there's a little butterfly here who the butterfly is glowing. So it looks like you have been going through a bit of a transformation period, maybe this whole year, maybe just the last few months or the last few weeks, you've been going through some kind of a transformation and you are a different being now. You are glowing and you're walking through that gate into the new year with confidence, that Leo shine, that Leo confidence and going into that Leo sun that is on the other side of that gate. Looks like this is going to be a great new year in all that light. Let's walk through that gate, Leo, shall we? Let's take action on our dreams, on the things that maybe have felt stagnant, stagnant for a while, Leo. The action card also talks to me about soulmates because it is the light and the dark um, horses, the male and the female en energies coming together, divine partners. And so maybe you've been waiting on some love that's just been kind of stagnant and now it's taking action for me this is also action for me as a reader i mean this is also action on a fast forward movement something that you maybe are not expecting because maybe you have been in a place of healing or going through a transformation you've been in that cocoon kind of waiting kind of wondering when things are going to change and here it is here's your change here's fast forward movement in this action card so let's see what comes out in the tarot for you regarding this walking away and having some action this could be you letting go of all the things all the people all the places all the things that just don't mesh with you anymore that just don't fit in your world anymore or just doesn't serve you anymore you've probably had to let go of a lot this year and a lot of things that just didn't work work for you anymore you may have walked away from a relationship. You may have walked away from a job. And now it's time for fast forward movement on your temple path because you have a lot of angels 
here with you guiding you like i said but you also had this temple path this is all about you finding your purpose and walking down that path and it's bringing you abundance bringing you abundance and all good things a lot of love a lot of spiritual activity awesome leo let's see what the cards have to add what is the rest of the story that you are telling me about leo what was that? Ah, the Nine of Wands wanted to jump out. I don't know if it's for you, but the Knight of the Nine of Wands is somebody who has been through a lot, who has a little bit of a boundary up around them because they're a wounded warrior. They've been through a lot of challenges. So you might have been in a lot of challenges this year, and you're leaving it all behind, walking towards your abundance, and it's going to take off right away because this is your energy going into the new year ah the four of cups this is you just being ready for that new year to start <laughs> right you might be in a situation where you're bored and discontent where you're kind of ignoring something that the universe has given you because you're just kind of over it you're over the situation you're over the disappointments of the past you are ready for action to take off in a greater better um, direction this action you're ready to go in a better direction you're ready to go towards your light leo and spirit has something for you it's right here so be sure you're watching for it because it's something really good you might be kind of ignoring it right now because you're so focused on all the hardships or the challenges that you've been through this year all you have to do is turn around though you're being offered something maybe it hasn't shown up yet and you're going to walk right into it with this light. Oh, as I say that, we have the Ace of Pentacles. This is a brand new beginning. Now, if you are looking for love, this can be an offer of love that is going to go the distance. This is something solid. You can really, really trust this offer. You can trust this person. It's, they're dedicated. They're going to work on things with you. They want to be on the same page with you. They want to build something with you. This is that offer that the universe has for you that's really amazing. Now, if this is your, regarding your life or your work, this is a really, really good card. This is the best card. As far as I'm concerned, this is the best card in the entire deck because this is a brand new beginning and it's, gonna, it's about taking root, going in a new direction. You're starting fresh, but this is abundant energy this is solid this is stable this is independent self-sufficient this is something that's going to last for a really really long time and bring you a lot of rewards no matter if that's rewards as in your finances growing and increasing or if this is love it's going to be very rewarding very long lasting and very very abundant it's time leo right it's time you're waiting for this action oh wow it's time thank you for this beautiful energy for my leos what else do they need to know oh my gosh you have the ten of pentacles <laughs> this ace is going to the ten very very quickly with this action you're gonna see some greatness this year you're taking this energy into the new year you're ready you're ready for this legacy you are ready for abundance you are ready for love you are ready for all of the pieces to fall into place for you leo this is this is everything coming together for you. This is leaving a legacy. This is a happy family, a happy home, a happy bank account, happy love. This is everything. This is your dream come true. You are walking away from everything in the past. You're leaving all the old stuff in the past for 2022. You're walking through that gate into all this golden energy. You have this woman holding a heart here. You have the legacy, the 10 of pentacles. Are you kidding me? This is wealth. If you're looking to build wealth, you have it here. The Ace of Pentacles. The universe has got something amazing for you. This Ace of Pentacles. And it's going to turn into the Ten of Pentacles. And I feel like it's going to happen fast because you're getting them both here in this reading about going into the new year. You've got action here. You've let go of a lot. You've let go of a lot and you're ready. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. You are ready. You've been keeping yourself in this protective bubble protecting your energy and she has a little light right here in her belly just kind of like this 
right here. This archangel and your third chakra. She's gotten in touch here with what's on the inside, what she wants most in her new year, what she, her priorities, her value. She's gotten in touch with her value, her worth, and she is protecting her energy from anything that doesn't fit that. And she's letting it go and walking away from anything that doesn't fit. Wow. So you're walking into abundance. You're walking into the 10 of freaking pentacles. What is the advice that you have for my Leos with this beautiful energy? This is my favorite Leo so far. This is my favorite reading so far. Oh, it's up to you to protect those boundaries. Protect your energy. Just like the seven of wands, stay in this bubble of protection. Protect your energy. Protect your thinking. Protect your, yourself. Stay in your bubble of boundaries that you set and don't waver from that because it's all coming together for you because you took the time to set solid boundaries. Advice for my Leos. You have balance here. You have success. You have a, a, a good compromise, a good balance. And you have, if this is regarding any legal situation, it'll be going in your favor. But this is compromise and balance. Maybe you spent this year you're really getting your boundaries set, protecting your energy, getting to know that light on the inside of you, because maybe there was some kind of imbalance, Leo. And you're letting go of anything that created imbalance in your life. You're walking away, you're leaving it in 2022, and you are going towards your Ten of Pentacles. One more advice card for my Leos, please. Advice for my Leos. Advice for my Leos. One more. Listen to your intuition. Follow your intuition. It's leading you in the right direction. That heart, that glowing heart. Leos are ruled by the heart. That glowing, shiny, light-filled heart on the inside of you. Follow it and listen to it. It will not lead you astray. This is your year, Leo. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Ah, yes. This is your year. I love this reading, Leo. I love it for you. Please comment below and let me know how it resonates for you. Happy New Year, Leo. It's looking good for you. Good things to look forward to. I'm so excited for you. I'll see you in the next reading next year. Happy New Year.